Joe Biden has been in politics since 1973. You probably know the former vice president best for his bromance with Barack Obama and his countless memes, but the man has lived a complicated, controversial, and tragic life. Here's what you don't know about Joe Biden. This also gives the internet one last chance to <laughs> talk about our bromance. Want to win some points at your next trivia night? Bet you didn't know Biden's middle name is Robinette. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. Okay, so Robinette might be a little offbeat, but it definitely has a history. Biden told C-SPAN, It's my grandmother Biden's maiden name. It's French, and it goes back a long, long way. Allegedly, the Robinettes came over with Lafayette and never went home. Although they are polar opposites politically, Biden and Trump do have one thing in common. Neither one drinks alcohol. Trump joked during a 2018 press conference, I'm not a drinker. I can honestly say I never had a beer in my life. Can you imagine if I had? What a mess I'd be. Would I be the, I'd be the world's worst. But Biden's reasons for abstaining are more clear-cut. He told the New York Times, There are enough alcoholics in my family. A friend of Biden's also noted that the former VP's family had, quote, more than their fair share of alcohol-related issues while Biden was growing up. According to the Times, Biden suffered from two brain aneurysms in 1988. He revealed at the White House National Conference on Mental Health, I had two cranial aneurysms. And they literally had to take the top of my head off. He said he asked the doctor about his chances of survival, adding, True story. I said, what are my chances of getting off this table and being completely normal? He said, well, your chances of living are a lot better. According to People, Biden's first wife, Nelia, and their 13-month-old daughter, Naomi, were killed in a horrific car accident in 1972, shortly after Biden's first election to the Senate. You knew. You just felt it in your bones. Something bad happened. He recalled, For the first time in my life, I understood how someone could consciously decide to commit suicide. Because they'd been to the top of the mountain, and they just knew in their heart they'd never get there again. Biden's two sons, Beau and Hunter, were also in the car and badly injured in the accident, according to People. Biden was sworn into the Senate in 1973 at Beau's bedside as Beau recovered from the crash. Congratulations, Senator. Thank you. In 2015, Biden lost his son, Beau, to a years-long battle with brain cancer. His son was 46. You know your success as a parent when you turn and look at your child and realize they turned out better than you. According to the New York Times, when Beau realized he was not going to make it, he tried to make his father promise to run in 2016, arguing that the White House should not revert to the Clintons and that the country would be better off with Biden values. And Hillary Clinton is going to write the next chapter in American fiction. Joe chose not to run in 2016, but he reportedly said, while I will not be a candidate, I will not be silent. Biden earned the nickname Creepy Uncle Joe for his habit of touching women. According to The Intelligencer, in April 2019, multiple women have accused him of, quote, inappropriate contact. The first allegation was made by former Nevada Lieutenant Governor nominee Lucy Flores, who claimed that in 2014, He held onto my shoulders, he got close to my body from behind, smelled my hair, kissed my head. That is just unprofessional inappropriate behavior. Amy Lapos discussed an alleged interaction with Biden at a political fundraiser in 2009, claiming, And then he reached over um, and put his hands behind my head and pulled me close, and I thought, he's going to kiss me. But instead of a kiss, Lapos says, He started rubbing noses with me. The New York Times published an account from Caitlin Caruso, who claimed Biden inappropriately touched her when she was 19, at an event about harassment at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. He allegedly placed his hand on her thigh. After Flores' allegation, Biden released a statement on Twitter reading in part, I have offered countless handshakes, hugs, expressions of affection, support, and comfort. And not once, never, did I believe I acted inappropriately. If it is suggested I did so, I will listen respectfully. Flores tweeted back, saying she appreciated his acknowledgement that he made women feel uncomfortable but she added, Given the work he has done on behalf of women, Vice President Biden should take personal responsibility for inappropriate behavior, and yet he hasn't apologized. Days later, Biden addressed the allegations once again, posting, I hear what they're saying. I understand it. And I'll be much more mindful. That's my responsibility. 
my responsibility and I'll meet it. As of April 2019, eight women have accused Biden of inappropriate behavior. With this presidential hopeful throwing his hat into the ring for the 2020 Democratic race, with zero funds raised per the New York Times, we're guessing there will be even more to the story on Joe Biden. This terrible feeling you're having right now, it's not permanent. It, it'll be over in four years, maybe eight. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.